Hey guys, welcome to the brand new installment on the Hooks at Hoodlums YouTube channel. It's a how-to series. How-to series is just that. We're going to go over how to do certain things when it comes to fishing, whether it's not tying, how to rig a soft plastic, how to run a certain bait. These are from simple, simple things that people just want to get into and just don't have the knowledge of to advanced techniques. Um, it won't just be Ken, Andrew, and I. Hooks at Hoodlums is a very large team with a lot of people that specialize in different things. So the first installment in this series of how to is going to be how to fish jigs. I figured I could break it down into three short videos. I wanted to start with today's video, how to throw a bladed swim jig. If you've ever thrown a crankbait or a spinner bait or any type of power bait, you should be able to throw a bladed swim jig without any issues. Fishing jigs is becoming more and more popular, and I think a lot of people that want to get into it are hesitant because maybe the size of the bait or it's intimidating or they just don't know how to do it or uh, they think the hookup ratio isn't going to be as high. Uh, I'm here to dispel. Now, I don't know if dispel is the right word, but I'm here to dispel any of those uh, thoughts. The bladed swim jig in today's video is going to make it nice and short. I fished it uh, on like a 95 degree day at 11 o'clock in the morning in a heavily weeded body of water. These are complete, oh, and muddy. It looked like you who um, completely horrible fishing conditions by, uh, you know, any textbook anyway. And what I did is I take my bladed swim jig. The one I'm using today is going to be by Flirt Skirt Fishing. It's the Bean Town something. Um, it's awesome. This was actually my first time using flirt skirt at the time. Uh, you tie it on, however you tie your knots, okay? It's a 3 8 ounce bladed swim jig. I take a trailer. You take a trailer of your choice, a soft plastic. In this video, I use the Crack and Craw, crack and craw by Guggen Baits. Um, I match the colors how I want. I thread that hook with, a, uh, with the Crack and Craw trailer, and I just go to work. Your retrieve is important on a bladed swim jig. You could fish that right off the bottom. You could fish it just over weeds. You could fish it on the edge of lily pads. You could fish it high and shallow, almost to the surface, like a spinner bait. It all depends on the conditions or the style that you're used to or what you feel confident with or where you're fishing. So in this body of water, as I said, it's heavily weeded. It was very stained and it's not very deep. So I had a kind of a faster retrieve and um, smashed them. I'm going to show you a couple examples of just slaying fish on this bladed swim jig in less than ideal conditions. I think another big part to take note of is that a lot of people, including myself, are hesitant to get into jigs because they're big. It's a bulky bait, right? It's a big presentation. So like Bobby Rose Beef says, you know, it's like, oh, these are big baits, so you might not catch as many fish, but the fish will be significantly larger, which is true, but it's not always true. In this video, uh, one of the fish I catch is like an eight or nine inch bass and it just smashes this thing. So don't be worried about the size. The reason I want to make this three videos and start with a bladed swim jig is because uh, I feel like it's simple enough. You could feel it. You build your confidence on the speed you want your retrieve and how you want to fish it and you will catch fish. So this is just a confidence builder. Video one of three, the bladed swim jig. Let's go. But it's a nice bladed jig, black and gold. Some dope colors there for skirt fishing. And for the trailer, typically throwing craws on um, swim jigs. So, I'm gonna throw this old crack and craw. Um, watermelon red flake. Even though it's on the black and gold, I feel like it'll stand out perfect. I like that color flake. I think this is super dark, but anyway. Flirt skirt, bladed swim jig, crack and craw, watermelon red flake. We'll see.
let's work this uh, pad line over here. I know it's weedy and all that, but hoping that uh, I can get in right alongside of it, drop it, get that vibration to have these big bass that hide over here uh, react. You know, it's a little late in the morning and it's heating up already. We've gotten a lot of rain, so there's a million excuses I can make. I'd like to not have to. I hear you. On the swim jig. Go ahead. Go home. just threw me off. This is a tiny fish. Might even be crappie. No, little bass. <laughs> hey, let me tell you something. Don't be afraid to throw big jigs thinking these are too big for fish. Dude, come on. That's a huge presentation. And that is a nine inch bass. Eight, maybe. Come on. I'm telling you. Do not be afraid to throw these. jig something you're dragging or a blade you stay throwing jigs at timber bad 14 What the f Well, figure that's a good a way to end it as, as I could imagine. That's what I get for trying to instruct, <laughs> give information, or share uh, skills with anybody. Jig flies 100 yards and backlash like crazy. But seriously, one of three. Build your confidence throwing the jig. Start with the bladed jig. Run it slow, run it fast, depending on the depths. You could fish it deep, shallow, throw it like a spinner. It's not too big. It's 
not hard. So start off with that. Stay tuned for the next one. Step two is just a regular swim jig. All right? Don't forget to check us out at hooksatholums.com. How's this, guys? Just, just under four. Heck yeah, bro. This is what I'm talking about. Putting in the work, even on a day when it seems like it's not gonna happen. Let's go. 